that open up every day to my eyes awakening. TGIT, thank God it is today. I'm Clara Hubbard, host of Single Talk Radio Show, and we're here today as we are celebrating African Heritage Week as well as Go Red for Women. I'm doing this day, event today in honor of my mother, Barbara Hubbard, who would have been 72 years old on yesterday. And so my advocacy is to really educate our community that we do have options and that people do care about each other. So we live in a life of love, happiness, and understanding. This event is at the Oakwood Shores residence. They open their doors to me. The address is 3750 South of Vincennes, on Cottage Road, and thank our sponsors especially our friends from FightHighBloodPressure.com. That is one of the leading factors that can save our lives. They're doing screeners today, and we can bring a whole workshop to you with no delay. Give us a call. Call my senior talk office at 312-428-6919. God bless you. I love you. And remember, in complete darkness, we are all the same. It is only our knowledge and wisdom that separate us. Take care of yourself, and don't forget that self-care is not being selfish. We'll talk to you soon. We're here today because I, I like to do things in excellence. And I thought it would be more appropriate today to celebrate each of you. Your gift, your energy, your smile, something has meant something to make this day happen for me. Life is about prioritizing. And it's not about my schedule. And life is so short. And we're talking about heart transplants. And I thought about what I was going to say today, and I've been speaking from my heart all my life. And God gives you the desires of your heart if you serve the people. Only when you serve the people will you have, your soul will be happy. And my soul is happy to be here with you all. You have to have a servant's heart. That's how I found my wife, y'all. Her auntie said, you need to meet my niece because you have a servant's heart. And she was like, who is this man with this three-piece suit acting like a janitor? <laughs> so today, I salute you all. Let's raise these glasses up, whatever in y'all cup. I'm not going to tell nobody. But let's have a toast to these ladies because you all deserve it. And may God continue to give you all the desires of your heart. I know he's a good one and a miracle one. The Bible tells you in Jeremiah 30, 17, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Gospel artist, the Chicago Mass Choir, sings a song entitled, Thank You. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for me. That's my song. Several of Richard Smallwood's songs remains with me every day. He brought me all the way and total praise I give to God. And in closing, everybody, the words of this song penned by an artist, Reverend James Cleveland, many, many years ago. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe he brought me this far to lead me. My name is Pam Woods Walker and I approve this message. I love you. The head of cardiology was there at the hospital. He said, run the test one more time. When they ran the test that third or fourth time, I'm laying there hooked up to everything. All these nurses and doctors ran in and he said, she's having a heart attack right now. <laughs> Thanks be to God that I was in the hospital because I had a massive heart attack. Not just a heart attack. My left heart had given out completely. Luckily, I was in the hospital and they were able to put a balloon pump in me. 